up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today we are doing the july boxing schedule where i uh, give you guys all the fights that you can see in july and the ones worth watching um before we get into that if you guys could smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate any and all support that i can get as i try to build my channel up here uh and if, you, if there's anything you don't like, you can always give me a thumbs down or leave me a comment letting me know why. I'm open to all of it. I can take it. So, uh, yeah, whatever you guys want to do is perfectly fine with me. So, um, back to the schedule now. So, what I'm going to do with the boxing schedule is basically, like I said, give you all the fights that you're going to want to take a look at that are going to be on um, between the major networks or streaming services uh the bt sports ones um there's a couple of zone cards and a bt a couple of bt sport things that I, i'm not sure how you would view bt sport but i'm just going to mention them um because they're really not that big a fight or, or something on that level but uh let's get started with this weekend's fight so you only have a couple days to check these out i think undefeated dalton smith is fighting on a bt sport card if I read the schedule uh, correctly. But on ESPN, you got a heavyweight attraction. Um, you got a headline from Ohio. You have Jared, the real big baby Anderson, knockout artist at heavyweight, 14 and 0, 14 knockouts, taking on probably on paper his toughest test to date when he faces off against former heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Martin. Now, Martin is a replacement opponent. He's 37 years old. And everybody knows that Martin was a paper champion during his um, his tenure that only lasted about three months when he had uh, upset um, scored a, an injury TKO victory to capture the heavyweight title back in 2017 I believe 2016 2017 and then he would get knocked out just three months later against Anthony Joshua in the second round um, he's had, you know, a couple spots here and there. Uh, you know, his probably his biggest uh, moment since then was when he fought Lu uh, Luis Ortiz and um, came up short getting stopped in the sixth round against him. Uh, now he's trying to, you know, just be that kind of gatekeeper. And this is going to be Jared Anderson's biggest test this weekend. So it um, should be good to see Anderson's progression. He's been brought along quite well, 15th pro fight. And he's trying to crack the top 10 by the end of the year, uh, possibly. So we'll see what happens. But a big fight for him. Really looking forward to it. Saturday, July 1st, this weekend. Uh, Anderson versus Charles Martin on ESPN. There's also a heavyweight co-feature. So it should be decent. Then on July 7th, Friday on the zone. Friday, July 7th on the zone. You got some up-and-comers. And July has some of these cards where you have guys that are trying to crack the top 10 by the end of the year contenders trying to make a dent in their respective divisions um this the zone card is headlined by undefeated super middleweight diego pacheco as he takes on manuel gallegos um on that card pacheco undefeated super middleweight as i said trying to continue to prove himself as he um you know works his way up the ladder at 168 then on the undercard, he got Rocky Hernandez, 130-pound super featherweight contender, also trying to make some noise as he's battling some guy named Tovas. So it should be some good action on that card that you're going to want to check out that Friday night on The Zone. That's July 7th. Then on July 8th, we got two big cards coming at you. First off, on The Zone, maybe in the bigger fight, the, I'm just going to discuss the main event. The undercard's kind of weak. But you have Imantis Stanionis, the undefeated WBA regular champion at Wolverley, is taking on Virgil Ortiz, the undefeated um, welterweight contender on the rise. This is each guy's biggest fight to date as they are trying to make a name for themselves at 147. The winner, in my opinion, cracks the top three or four at welterweight. And, um, you know, it's really gonna, gonna prove, uh, you know, who the biggest guy next to Jerome Boutanis is going forward. And I'm telling you, after the Spence and Crawford fight happens, one or two belts are probably gonna go vacant before the end of the year. And I think the WBA belt could go vacant and the winner of this fight, who's the regular champ, gets upgraded.
created a full champ and gets to start a serious title run. So, big time fight right here. I really can't wait to see it on July 8th on the zone. Stanionis and Virgil Ortiz do not want to miss that. But also on July 8th, on Showtime, we got a triple header taking place as the other guy that's the threat in the welterweight division. Jerron Boots Ennis, currently my number three welterweight. He's the IBF interim champion. He's taking on contender Romain Villa, who upset Rashidi Ellis back in January um, on the Tank Davis and um, Hector Luis Garcia undercard. Villa is not a guy to be overlooked. I know Boots is coming in a heavy favorite. Everybody wants to see Boots be the next big thing, and I believe he will be. But Romain V is not a guy to look over. The guy's, uh, I believe he's 20, 20, either 24 or 26 and one with uh, only two fights that have not ended by knockout for him. So Villa already upset Rashidi Ellis. He knows this spot, this, uh, this you know, underrated underdog spot. And I think he's ready and it should be good. But also on the undercard, you got a couple guys trying to continue to boost their resume as they um, try to get into contention. 154 pound co-feature, Yoelvis Gomez uh, taking on a guy named Marquise Taylor. And then uh, kicking off the show, uh, entertaining lightweight prospect, Edwin De Los Santos is taking on Joseph Adorno. So some good action on the undercard right there. De Los Santos at 135 and Elvis Gomez at 154 and Boots Ennis in the interim title fight in the main event all on July 8th on Showtime. Then on July 15th, um, I, I believe Josh Kelly's fighting on a DAZN card, so you can check him out. He's an undefeated guy on the rise. But Showtime's also coming back with a triple header. Um, a good undercard, Elvis Rodriguez at 140 kicks off the show as he takes on the biggest test of his career, former world champion Victor Postal. Very, very interesting and good matchup. It's definitely a test for Elvis Rodriguez as he wants to get on that top 10 level before the end of the year. And we know Gary Antoine Russell beat Victor Postal last year. So if Elvis Rodriguez could score a win over him, that would do uh, big things for him, Postal. The consummate gatekeeper now at this point in his career, but he's still got some fight in that dog. So we'll see what happens. Kicking off the show, the co-feature sees future Hall of Famer, former multi-division world champion, the ageless wonder, the Filipino flash, Nonito Donaire, as he challenges for a vacant title at 118 pounds when he takes on Alfredo Santiago. This should be pretty good right here. Nonito Donaire just doesn't seem to ever get old. Um, you know, he's trying to bounce back from the knockout loss to the monster in their rematch last year, uh, Inoue. Um, but, you know, he's going after another world title at his age, and I just love watching Nonito Donaire. He's one of my favorite fighters of this generation, and I'm really looking forward to seeing him back in action in that co-feature on July 15th. But the main event, interestingly enough, has been given to undefeated lightweight contender Freight Martin. The talented fighter trying to continue to prove himself as he takes on some guy named Hart Harder Yunyan. And, um, I, you know, it's it's supposed to be a WBC lightweight eliminator. So Frank Martin has a chance to showcase himself in the main event of a Showtime triple header. He needs to take advantage and do that. Should be a good card, though. Really looking forward to it. I like the undercard a lot. July 22nd, ESPN. You got a, a decent... Uh, card here. Decent, a couple names. Keyshawn Davis, another undefeated lightweight contender. Uh, taking on some guy named Patera on the undercard. Keyshawn Davis is trying to continue to build his name and his resume. But the main event, former unified lightweight champion of the world, George Cambosos Jr. returns from his two losses in 2022 to Devin Haney as he takes on Maxi Hughes of the United Kingdom. Uh, George Camboso is just trying to get in line for a bigger fight later in the year. He signed with top rank. Should be good um, on ESPN right there. Should be decent. Looking forward to that. Then Tuesday, July 25th, ESPN brings you a hell of a card from Japan. First in the co-feature, Robesai Ramirez, a newly crowned featherweight champion of the world, is taking on 
uh, some Japanese fighter named Shimizu. This is just Ramirez trying to make an initial defense uh, and get his feet dug deep into his title reign um, after defeating Isaac Dogbe in April. I think Ramirez is going to dominate uh, Sh Sh Shimizu uh, going to a different continent to fight. Big deal. I think he's going to get a TKO in the middle of the later rounds, retain his featherweight title, and push forward to a bigger fight later in the year. Well, I mean, I'm sorry I'm giving my prediction on that. Ramirez should look good in this fight. Really looking forward to seeing him. But the main event, you have a big fight. This might be the second or third biggest fight of the month. S Stephen Fulton Jr., the undefeated WBC WBO Unified Super Bantamweight Champion at 122, is taking on the undefeated monster Naoa Inoue, the former undisputed Bantamweight Champion, former multi-division champion, Inoue moving up for his first time to 122 and taking on the top dog in Stephen Fulton. I cannot wait to see this fight. I think it's going to be very good. Tuesday morning from ESPN, July 25th. This is a huge battle right here. I'm really looking forward to it. Make sure you're checking that one out. Don't want to miss it. And then, July 29th, Showtime pay-per-view. It's finally here. Spence versus Crawford for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. I cannot fucking wait for this fight. Gonna be big. All four belts on the line at welterweight. Pretty much your front runner for pound for pound king is on the line. And I am immensely looking forward to this fight. I'm super excited. Spence Crawford finally here. The undercard is decent. You have Isaac Cruz, former world title challenger, battling Giovanni Cabrera, undefeated lightweight contender. That should be decent. Then 154 pounds, Jesus Ramos. Uh, wanting to continue to make a name for himself. He's undefeated at 154. He's taking on Sergio Garcia, a good, solid contender right there. And then uh, you have a heavyweight showdown, Havanasian versus Faust will kick the show off. So Showtime pay-per-view is looking good that uh, on that card. I mean, during July, Showtime, the, that pay-per-view card on July 29th is stacked. It, it's looking solid. Um, three biggest fights of the month, uh, just single fights. I got to go with number three is Stanionis and Ortiz for the WBA regular welterweight title. It's hard to not rank that one number two. Um, I don't think it has the same significance as number two. That's why it's just barely there at number three. That's going to be good. The number two fight of the month, absolutely. Stephen Fulton Jr. versus Naola Inoue on ESPN on July 25th on a Tuesday for the unified Super Bantamweight title at 122. I can't wait to see that one. And then the main event, I mean, the number one fight of the month, maybe of the year so far. You got Spence and Crawford on July 29th on Showtime pay-per-view. That's huge. The three biggest cards of the month. If you guys want me to get in the full cards, um, kind of hard for me to ignore uh, all the, uh, the Showtime cards. Um, in terms of total cards, I think number three should be the Ennis and Via July 8 Showtime card. The undercard's looking de decent. Jerome Boots Ennis is a big name that people want to see fight. So that one, and then, um, you know, it's kind of hard to not do the Martin and uh, Hardy Union. That's kind of a, in my opinion, that's kind of a weak main event, but the undercard should be good. So those two fights, just, those two fight cards on the 8th and the 15th on Showtime are pretty solid. So check those out. The number two card of the month is the July 25th Tuesday ESPN card that's headlined by Fulton and Inoue. Robesai Ramirez fighting on the undercard's big. But the main card of the month absolutely is Spence versus Crawford on Showtime pay-per-view. Isaac Cruz, Jesus Ramos, and the heavyweight uh, opener. That's going to be a good one. $85. Make sure you pay for that because it should be good. And that's it, guys. That's what I got. That's my July boxing schedule. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.